Not for Profit NLP presents Logical Levels for Powerful Thinking. I'm going to talk about two processes. One is called chunking up and one is called chunking down. And these are terms that are used in NLP to describe the process of moving to a more general logical level or to a more specific logical level. These are processes the mind does naturally, organically, they are a part of consciousness. Uh, they are just what make us who we are, but what NLP I think has done with them has taken these inherent processes and given them uh, a lot of refinement and clean them up, streamline them, help us understand how to use them deliberately and effectively. The first process is uh, that of chunking up. And the way you chunk up is you ask the question, what is this an example of? And the mind is asking, what is this an example of all the time? Unconsciously, it's simply the way you navigate the world. You start seeing things in categories, you look around, it goes into a category, another category, another category. And I think chunking up is really kind of the mind's survival mechanism for handling information overload. Um, so we really stop seeing specifics at a certain point, and we just see examples. We just toss them into categories as we move through the day. Um, as we're doing that, you're chunking up. And when you're making any kind of mental declarative statement, you're chunking up. Um, for example, if you say, someone's a moron, all right? Or if you say, what a babe, what a genius. These are all examples of categorical assignments. The mind, in essence, has asked itself the question, what is this an example of, and just placed it into a category. Um, fine and well, but we can do that much more deliberately, and we can use the process in um, a system or a sequence of thinking to help us use that sort of question to dynamically alter the landscape. On the other hand, when you ask, what is an example of this? Give me an example of this. You've chunked down. You've gone from the plane you're on to a plane of more specificity. Give me concrete examples of something. Um, so, when you're looking at specifying, when you're looking at getting detail, sensory specific detail, or uh, fine uh, plans, or uh, fine description, you are chunking down. That's going chunking down. So if we took the same set of, say, propositions, what a moron, what a babe, what a genius, and we reconsidered that in a chunked down way, we'd ask how much knowledge is required to execute that task? How much exercise is needed to look like that? Or in what areas is his genius most or least apparent? Okay, so what we're doing is we are categorically refining the statement. A babe, a genius, a moron, whatever. We're going to a high level of specific data about what that type of person or what that form of being exactly has, what it shows, what it manifests to the world. What we will find is that highly functional systems, all right, systems where things work, tend to uh, inquire. They tend to ask questions and seek clarification on multiple logical levels. This will be very, very important. Say in a, a business setting, a meeting or a negotiation, you may be presented, you and your um, other people there may be presented with some uh, specific data, and you may assume that it's going to be assigned to a certain category or a certain uh, meaning will be drawn from that. And you may be quite shocked to find that other people are assigning things to very, very different uh, categories. Uh, so don't assume that simply because you're presented with something that the categories that you tend to assign experience to will be the same categories that other people tend to assign experience to. Which leads us to this also. Dysfunctional systems, okay, and self-limiting systems tend to function on only one logical level. Just, okay, this is a given. But there's very little inquiry as to what are those givens examples of. 
what is that part of? What logical system does that belong to? Okay, and also you will find in dysfunctional systems that there is very little inquiry into specificity. So I think the takeaway lesson here is to try to think on at least three logical levels. If you're ever presented with anything that requires some serious thought, ask, what is it an example of? Ask yourself, how might other people be forming examples? What might this be an example of for that person? It may be completely different than the example it is for you. And then also ask, well, what are the examples that led you to believe that this is so? Give me some, some, some very clarifying information here. Tell me what specifics caused you to believe that we're talking about this. Uh, are those, were there some specific examples that have a lot of common information about them, that they are, they are uh, rationally very similar things, or are they things that are only superficially similar, or superficially similar experience, that have just kind of been tossed into some kind of bin because they seem like they might belong together, and then a case is built on that. So uh, to um, strengthen your thinking, practice these two, uh, two skills. Chunk up, frequently ask yourself, how am I assigning this? What is this an example of? And also chunk down. What, what specific experiences or what specific instantiations did I use to make a case for this point of view? Okay, that's good for today.